உம்மிடத்துல நாங்கள் வந்திருக்கோம் இந்த கால வேலையில் ஆண்டவர வாரத்தின் முதல் நாளில் நீங்கள் உயிர் தெழுந்தீங்க அப்பா அப்பா அதுபடியாக நாங்கள் எவ்ரி வீக் ஆண்டவரே அப்பா அந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டே உண்மை ஆண்டவரே துதித்து ஆராதிக்க நாங்கள் வருகிறோம் இன்றைக்கு ரொம்ப ஸ்பெஷலாக ஆண்டவர அப்பா உலகமே உம்முடைய ஆண்டவர ரிசரக்ஷனை நினைவு கூறும்படியாக வந்திருக்கும் போது அப்பா நாங்களும் அப்படியாக இந்த இடத்துல வந்திருக்கிறோம் கத்தாவை அப்பா நாங்கள் பாடி ஆரம்பிக்கும் போது கத்தர் ஆண்டவரே எங்களோட ஆவியை புதிப்பீங்க ஆண்டவரே எங்களோட அப்பா சரீரத்தை புதிப்பீங்க எங்கள் ஆத்துமாவை புதிப்பீங்க ஆண்டவரே அப்பா பழையது ஒழிந்து போகட்டும் ஆண்டவரே எதில் எல்லாம் புதுமை வரணுமோ அதில் எல்லாம் ஆண்டவரே அப்பா கத்தாவே உங்களுடைய ரிசரக்ஷன் பாவை ஆண்டவரே ஆராதிக்க முடியாம ஆண்டவரே அப்பா கவலையோ கண்ணீரோ கஷ்டமோ வியாதியோ தொல்லையோ துன்பமோ அப்பா எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் அதை எசுவின் நாமத்தினால இந்த வேலை கடிந்து கொள்கிறோம் அப்பா நாங்கள் விடுதலையோட ஆராதிக்கும் படியாக பரசுத்த ஆவியானவர் எங்க ஒவ்வொருவரையும் நீங்க ஆட்கொள்ளுங்க தேவனே ஆட்கொள்ளுங்க அப்பா ஆட்கொள்ளுங்க இந்த வேலையில எங்களை தாழ்த்துகிறோம் அண்டவர நீங்க உயர்த்தப்படும்படியா எஸ்வின் மூலம் ஜபத்தை எடுக்கிறோம் பிதாவே அமே வெரி ஏர்லி இன் த மார்னிங் டே அண்ட் certain other women with them came to the tomb bringing the spices which they have prepared but they found the stone rolled away from the tomb then they went in and did not find the body of the Jesus Christ and it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this that behold two men stood by them in shining garments then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth they said to them why do you seek the living among the dead he is not here but is risen remember how he spoke to you when he was still in galilee saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again you know many times we also forget that we worship the risen god hame we worship the risen god நம்ம கவலைப்படவே தேவையில்லை ஏன்னோ நம்ம நிறையா நேரம் கற்று கொடுத்த ப்ராமிசஸ் எல்லாம் கூட நம்மளுக்கு மறந்துடும் ஏன்னோ பிகாஸ் ஏன்னோ நம்ம கவலைகள் நம்ம மேலே ஆட்களும் போது எல்லாம் மறந்துடும் ஆனால் நான் வி ஹேட் ரொம்ப வி சர்வ் ரிசன் கார்டு ஹமே எல்லாம் கரங்களை தட்டி பாடலாம் உயிர் தெழுந்தாரு அல்ல இல்லையா
பார்க்கும்போது நம்மளுடைய தேவன் உயிர்த்த தேவன் அமேன் அவருடைய வார்த்தை நம்மளோடு கூட எப்பொழுதும் இருக்கிறது risen indeed and he appeared to Simon also Simon Peter because he was so afraid he denied the Lord but God did not forget him he appeared to him also you know sometimes we also deny the Lord you know may not be you know directly to someone but we deny the word of God what it says you know God's word says by his stripes we are healed but you know we don't believe in his stripes instead we trust in the doctors and God says your sorrow will turn into joy but you know we don't trust in that and we continue to be in the sorrow that is also denying the Lord and his power in the velala nam apdi illama no katha ovvor varavayo nammala nyaagapadutrad endra na he is alive he is alive உங்களுக்கும் சந்தோஷமாக மாறும்
terrified and frightened and suppose they had been a spirit and he said to them why are you troubled and why do doubt arise in your hearts behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself no under nammalo da doubts avar udasina padathravar kadaiyadu no sometimes we might doubt okay is god real is he listening to my prayers is he going to answer my prayers you know but god he never ignores the cry of a needy nama bible la paakla every time every time you know hander oru naalo kannira udaasina padatha vela in spite of their doubts god heal them also இந்த வேலையில் நம்மளுடைய தேவன் முடிவில்லாதவர் ஹமே முடிவில்லாதவர் எல்லாம் முடிந்ததுன்னு நினைக்கலாம் ஏன்னா எம்ப்ளாயர் சொல்லலாம் எல்லாம் முடிஞ்சு ப்ராஜெக்ட் முடிஞ்சு டாக்டர்ஸ் எல்லாம் எல்லாம் முடிஞ்சிச்சு அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இல்லை இது முடியாது அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் ஆனால் நம்மளுடைய தேவன் எல்லாம் முடிய செய்கிற தேவன் தர் இஸ் நத்திங் இம்பாசிபிள் வித் ஹெம் ஹமே அவர் ஆதியும் அந்தவும் ஆனவர் முடிவில்லாதவர் அவரோட இறக்கங்களுக்கு முடிவே இல்லை அவர் அற்புதம் செய்யும் வல்ல குறை வல்லமை குறையவே இல்லை இந்த வேலையில் இந்த பாடலை பாடும் பொழுது நம்மளுடைய தேவன் முடிவில்லாதவர் தொடக்கமும் இல்லை முடிவும் இல்லாதவர் அப்படிப்பட்ட தேவர் நம்மளோடு கூட இருக்கிறார் ஆமே பாடலாம் கரங்களை தட்டி முடிவில்லாதவரை நான் முடிவே
சில பேர் நினைக்கலாம் ஓகே நான் வந்து ரொம்ப பாவெல்லாம் பண்ணவே இல்லை அப்படின்னு ஆனால் கத்தர் சொல்கிறாரு வசனம் சொல்லுகிறது உங்களிடத்துல பாவம் இல்லைன்னு சொன்னால் பொய்யராக இருக்கிறீர்கள் என்று இல்லை நம்ம எல்லாருமே பாவம் செஞ்சிருக்கிறோம் ஆனால் கத்தர் அவரோட ரத்தத்தினால நம்மளை கழுவி நம்மளோட பாவங்கள் சவேரன இருந்தாலும் அதை பனியை போல வெண்மையாக மாற்றுகிறவர் அமேன் இந்த வேலையில் நம்ம பாடலாம் இந்த பாடலை பார்க்கலாம் பாடலாம் என்ன தூக்கி தூக்கி எடுத்துரே கத்தர் மட்டும் நம்மளை தூக்கி எடுக்கலன்னா நம்ம எப்பொழுதோ எப்பொழுதோ பாவத்தில் மாண்டு போயிருந்திருப்போம் ஆனால் கத்தர் நம்மளை தூக்கி எடுத்தாரு
நீங்களே பலியாகி அப்பாவும் நாங்க கிருபையினால விசுவாசத்துல கொண்டு ரட்சிக்கப்படுகிறோம் அந்த ரட்சிப்புக்கு நமக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் டாடி நன்றி ஆண்டவர நம்ம இந்த உலகத்தில் எவ்வளவோ செல்வம் சேர்க்கலாம் சொத்து சேர்க்கலாம் நம்ம இந்த தே இந்த உலகத்தை விட்டு போகும்போது ஒன்று கூட எடுத்துகிட்டு போக முடியாது ஒன்று கூட நம்மளால் அழகாக எடுத்துகிட்டு போக முடியாது ஆனால் ஒன்றே ஒன்று நம்ம ஆத்துமா ஆண்டு ஒரு இப்பயே பற்றிக்கொள்ளும் பொழுது நம்ம ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் பிளேஸ் தான் நம்மளுக்கு நடக்குது இந்த உலகத்திலேருந்து நம்ம பரலோகத்துக்கு அப்படியே ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆகிறோம் மரணம் பயமே இருக்கக்கூடாது நம்மளுக்கு நான் இப்பொழுதும் கத்தரோட ஆசீர்வாதங்கள் ஒன்று எல்லாவற்றிற்கும் மேலான ரட்சிப்பு அந்த ரட்சிப்பு நம்ம உதாசீனப்படுத்திடும் கிடையாது உயிரோடு இருக்கிற தேவனை நம்ம ஆராதிக்கிறோம் யாராலையும் கொடுக்க முடியாத ரட்சிப்பு கத்தர் கொடுக்கிறார் இந்த பாடலை பாடும் போது அவரை அப்படியே ஆராதிக்கலாம் நம்ம கத்த எப்படி நம்மளை ரட்சித்தாரு அவரையே ஒப்பு கொடுத்து நம்மளை ரட்சித்தாரு பிதாவானவர் God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have an everlasting life. Now, if you want to do a sacrifice, you can't do it. But if you want to do it, you can't do it. If you want to do it, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. பிதாவின் வலது பாசத்தில் உட்கார்ந்து இருக்கிறார் எப்பொழுதும் வசனம் சொல்லுகிறது
I don't want to live anymore. How many? No, no, no. Because Jesus is alive. Because He lives. We can face tomorrow. How many? He will give us a victory. How many? Inne ki namal ko naaga. Irikra yente vur. Kadal seyo khatter maachi koda valla var. No, we should never give up on our. அற்புதம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் <laughs> ஒரு வருகிறோம் அப்பா கண்ணீரோடு இருக்கிற பிள்ளைங்களை நீங்கள் அறிவீர் அந்தவர் அப்பா மரியால பார்த்து ஏன் அழுகிறான்னு நீங்கள் சொன்னீங்க அப்பா இந்த வேலையில் அண்டவர் அப்பா கண்ணீரோடு இருக்கிற பிள்ளைங்க நாளைக்கு என்ன நடக்கும்னு தெரியாமல் இருக்கிற பிள்ளைங்க ஒவ்வொரு வரையும் நீர் காண்கிற கத்தாவே வாயில் சொல் பரவார் அதுக்கு முன்பமே நீர் அறிந்திருக்கிற தேவன் தேவைகளை இந்த வேலையில் அப்படியாக ஒவ்வொருவரும் யாரெல்லாம் கண்ணீரில் இருக்கிறாங்களோ அவங்கள தொடுங்கப்பா தொடுங்க மறித்து உயிர் தெழுந்த இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் வல்லம் அந்த வேலையில் பாயட்டும் அந்த வர மறித்தவைகள் எல்லாம் உயிர்ப்பீங்கப்பா ஹோப்பு நோ ஹோப்புன்னு இருக்கிறது எல்லாவற்றையும் மாற்றி போடுங்க கத்தாவ இந்த வேலை மாற்றி போடுங்க கத்தாவ மாற்றி போடுங்க அந்த வர அப்பா டாக்டர்ஸ் கைவிட்டுருக்கலாம் அந்த ஒரு அப்பா நீங்கள் கைவிடாத தேவன் அந்த வர அப்போ அந்த வேலையிலையும் ஆண்டவர் யாரெல்லாம் வியாதியில் கஷ்டப்பட்டுட்டு இருக்காங்களோ முடியும் ஆணி பாய்ந்த கரம் தொடட்டும் ஆண்டவர் தொடட்டும் ஆண்டவர் தொடட்டும் ஆண்டவர் அப்பா நகரவாசியில் ஒருவரும் வியாதிப்பட்டு இருப்பது இல்லைன்ற வசனத்தை நாங்கள் இந்த சபைக்கு நாங்கள் கிளைம் பண்ணுகிறோம் கத்தாவே ஒவ்வொருவருக்கும் நாங்கள் ஹீலிங்கை கிளைம் பண்ணுகிறோம் கத்தாவே ஹெட்டுட்டோ அப்பா எல்லா டிசீஸும் ஆண்டவர் சிக்னஸும் அந்த வேலையில் போகட்டும் ஆண்டவர் நீங்கட்டும் நீங்கட்டும் ஆண்டவர் could be diabetes and it could be 
ஆத்தரைட்டிஸ் இட் குட் பி கேன்சர் இட் குட் பி ஸ்கின் டிசீஸ் இட் குட் பி பிளட் இஷ்யூஸ் அப்போ எல்லாத்தையும் ஆண்டவரை அப்போ அந்த வேலையில் அப்பா மறித்து உயிர் தழுந்து ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவின் வல்லமை பாயட்டும் ஒவ்வொரு வரையும் ஆண்டவரை தொடட்டும் ஆண்டவரை உயிர்ப்பீங்க அப்பா உயிர்ப்பீங்க ஆண்டவரை அப்பா சுகத்தை கட்டில் இடுங்க சுகத்தை கட்டில் இடுங்க அப்பா நாங்கள் ஆராதிக்கிற தேவன் உண்மையுள்ள தேவன் ஆண்டவரை இந்த வேலையிலும் குழந்தைக்காக வெயிட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்க ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைங்களையும் ஆண்டவரை அப்பா உம்முடைய வல்லம் அந்த வேலையில் இறங்கட்டும் ஆண்டவரை பரிசு தாவியான ஒரு வல்லமை இறங்கட்டும் பை திஸ் டைம் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் லா லெட் தம் ஹாவ் த பேபிஸ் லா லெட் தம் ஹாவ் த பேபிஸ் லெட் தம் கம் அண்ட் டெடிகேட் தோஸ் பேபிஸ் அட் யோ டெம்பிள் ஓ எஸ் டேடி அப்பா அந்த வேலையில் கத்தர் அற்புதம் செய்யுங்கப்பா செய்யுங்க டேடி யாரெல்லாம் ஆண்டவர் அப்பா எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட்டில் இஷ்யூன்னு இருக்காங்க விசா இஷ்யூஸ் இருக்கும் லாடு இந்த மந்த்தில் ஆண்டவர் ஏப்ரல் மந்த்தில் ஆண்டவர் எல்லாம் ரிசால்வ் ஆகட்டும் கத்தாவே எல்லாம் ரிசால்வ் ஆகட்டும் நாங்கள் ஆராதிக்கிற தேவன் அப்பா உண்மையுள்ள தேவன் உயிரோடு உள்ள தேவன் நாங்கள் ஆராதிக்கிற தேவன் உயிருள்ள தேவன் அப்பா நீர் பதில் அளிக்கிற தேவன் எங்க பெருமூச்சியும் கேட்கிற தேவன் அப்பா ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைங்களோட போய் பெருமூச்சு கேளுங்க எப்படி எகிப்துல ஆண்டவரே இஸ்ரோவேலின் பெருமூச்சை கேட்டு ஆண்டவரே நீங்க இறங்கி வந்த தேவன் அப்பா அப்படியாக இந்த வேலையில உங்களுடைய பிள்ளைகளின் பெருமூச்சை கேட்டு நீங்க இறங்குங்க அப்பா அற்புதம் செய்யுங்க ஆண்டவரே செய்யுங்க டேடி தேங்க்யூ ஆ ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைங்களையும் நாங்கள் உங்களுடைய கரத்தில் கொடுக்குறோம் ஆண்டவரை ஒவ்வொரு சின்ன பிள்ளைங்களையும் உங்களுடைய கரத்தில் கொடுக்குறோம் ஆண்டவரை வாலிப பிள்ளைங்களும் உங்களுடைய கரத்தில் கொடுக்குறோம் கத்தாமே அப்பா பிசாசு தொடாதபடிக்கு ஆண்டவரை உங்களுடைய ரத்த கோட்டைக்குள்ளே கொடுக்குறோம் ஆவி ஆத்மா சரீரத்தை ஆண்டவர அப்பா பிள்ளைங்க ஆண்டவர் அப்பா உண்மையில் வளரட்டும் கத்தாமே உமக்கு பயப்படுற பயத்தில் உண்மை அறிகிற அறிவில் ஞானத்தில் உணர்வில் வளரும்படியாக பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் ஆட்கொள்ளுங்க ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைங்களோட தேங்க்யூ ஜீசஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஆகப்பா இன்னைக்கு யாருமே வந்த வண்ணமாக நாங்கள் திரும்பி போகக்கூடாது கத்தாவே அப்பா எங்களோட லைஃப்பில் ஆண்டுவர எங்களோட விஷனை ஆண்டுவர ரிசரக்ட் பண்ணுங்க டேடி ஜஸ்ட் டேடி ஒருத்தர் கூட விஷன் இல்லாமல் ஓடக்கூடாது ஆண்டவர் கிவ் அஸ் அ விஷன் லா நியூ விஷன்ஸ் லா தேங்க்யூ லா ஒரு நாள் கூட வீணாக போகக்கூடாது ஆண்டவர் கத்தரை ஒவ்வொரு வரையும் ஆட்கொள்ளுங்க கத்தாங்க ஒவ்வொரு வரையும் ஆசீர்வதிங்கப்பா ஒவ்வொரு வரையும் ஆசீர்வதிங்க இந்த கரத்தில் எங்களை தாழ்த்துக்கிறோம் தாழ்த்துக்கிறோம் அந்த துதி கனமையும் எல்லாம் உண்மைக்கு செலுத்துங்க எசுவின் முழு ஜபத்தை இருக்கிறோம் கதாவே ஆமே நின்றவண்ணமாக சங்கீதம் படிக்கலாம் Yeah, we'll finish the communion, then we can read the Psalms. 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 17. You call on our Father who judges each person's work impartially. Without respect, God judges every man's work as we sojourn. And God says in verse 17, 18 you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold from your vain conversation we were not redeemed with corruptible things i mean the reason people do a lot of good works is because they believe that their good works will help them or get an entrance into the kingdom of heaven but the word of god says namudiya கிறிஸ்துவத்தின் மார்க்கத்தின்படி நம்ம எவ்வளோதான் நன்மைகள் செய்தாலுமே தே கேனாட் பே ஃபார் அவர் சின்ஸ் பேசிக்கலி வீ கேனாட் பே ஃபார் அவர் சின்ஸ் சம் ஒன் சுப்பீரியர் சம் ஒன் மோ ஹோலி தென் ஆஸ் கேன் ஓன்லி பே ஃபார் அவர் சின்ஸ் அண்ட் நோ கோட்ஸ் நோ கேவ்ஸ் எந்த மாட்டின் ரத்தமோ ஆடுகளின் ரத்தமோ நம்மை சுத்திகரிக்க முடியாது என்று வசனம் சொல்லுகிறது பட் தே ஆர் ஆல் சிம்பாலிக் பீப்புள் ஆல்வேஸ் கில்ட் அனிமல்ஸ் பிகாஸ் தே வ paying the price through an animal through the blood of an animal but the word of god says in hebrews that the blood of goats and calves cannot cleanse our sins verse 19 but with the precious blood of christ a lamb without blemish and without spot amen if there is one person who lived in this planet without any sin even 
the genealogical sin or generational sin, the sin that came through Adam's transgression. The only person who escaped the ancestral sins was Jesus because he was not con conceived through human effort. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Amen. His blood was intact. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Why did some people might ask, why did, did Jesus have to die? Because the blood has to be shed. <clears throat> without blood, there is no way he can cleanse or make up for our sins. So the blood has to be shed. And that's why Jesus had to go to the cross. And we thank God for that sacrifice. Amen. The word of God says, He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was, next verse, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. He came for us. You know how much we seek God. Today we are here to thank Him. He came seeking for us. We didn't seek Him, but He came seeking us. And through him, verse 21, you will believe in God who raised him from the dead and glorified him as, and so your faith and hope might be in God. Some men trust in horses, some in chariots, but I will trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. We trust in the blood of Jesus that was shed from the foundation of the world. He was the prophesied Lamb of God. He was the Lamb of God who takes the sins of the entire world. That's why the last prophet of the Old Testament said, Behold the Lamb of God. He said, I am just a forerunner to point you to the real Lamb of God. I am not the Christ, he said, but I'm here to reveal to you the true Lamb of God. And Jesus was called the Lamb of God. Amen. And what a mighty God we serve. According to His plan, everything is going. Amen. God has a perfect plan. And it cannot be altered. He goes from generation to generation. And He knows exactly what He is doing in this generation. So we're going to ask God to once again cleanse us. What is the definition of sin? A preacher said is missing the mark, which means any small commandment we miss, it is sin. Amen. Maybe we, we talked against parents or talked against our teachers or even against our management. You know, we were just giving into our feelings. Or sometimes we put blame on other people. Or sometimes we tell white lies. And it's not a real lie, but we say it's a white lie. But white lie is still a lie. And we're going to say, Lord, forgive us of all our sins and all our transgressions. And as we come close to the blood, the blood makes us pure and also gives us strength not to sin. Because the Bible says he removed our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. And then he gives us strength not to sin. Amen. As you come forward, you may come forward this aisle from the right side and then you can go on your left and we'll sing one song. Anbe Kalwari Anbe.
that night Jesus took the bread and said this is my body and this body will be broken for you Jesus predicted his own death his own burial and resurrection he said destroy this temple in 3 days and i will raise it up and there is no one who claimed who prophesied his own death and also prophesied his own resurrection and as jesus body was broken the prophecy says he was bruised for our iniquities chastised for our peace wounded for our transgressions amen ellavathirkum ella paavathirkum adikkapatta there is no one sin that god cannot forgive nammudey paavangal ella marikkedum lord forgive us today those things that we did or said or things that we missed even small things that we missed we missed praying we missed reading the word we missed calling upon god we trusted in human shields Lord forgive us for betraying Judas betrayed Peter denied Peter repented and God forgave Lord forgive us of all denials when we should have spoken but we didn't speak and as you partake namme the unnumbul karta namme sharirathayum suthigari par heal all our sicknesses as we partake of the body kartruk nandri seluthi kartudiya sharirathai nam pusikala and jesus took the cup and said this is a cup of new covenant pudhiya udanbadike kaana endre ratham paavu mannippikkendru sendapadugira endre ratham idai en nenivaga seiyungal jesus said repeat it and as often as you repeat it you proclaim the death the burial and resurrection until he comes and this is the only blood that can wash all our sins and the blood was given free to as many as who called him god gave them the right to become children of god since we call on his name confess his name his blood is available kartuk nam nandri selathi kartudi ratthai nam pargala what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood f major thank you jesus hallelujah this is a song called nothing but the blood
open peace. away in Jesus name guilt remorse even bitterness envy is all removed in Jesus name kallana edhiyathellam appa neer eduthu pottu andavare nal manadhai koduma appa i pray the heart of stone is broken in Jesus name those who have not received Jesus kaiyuthi kekkala those who have not received Jesus in our family lord i pray they will all receive the blood of Jesus because no man's work is sufficient but your blood is sufficient to wash all our transgressions of the past the thief on the cross made one confession and jesus instantly gave him admission into the paradise i thank you jesus i admit lord i pray they will repent every family member repent in jesus name come to the top return to the top thank you master come to the cross of calvary come to the mountain range of moria come to the place called golgotha Lord let them repent and receive that precious blood eternally precious eternally spotless the perfect sacrifice for all generations i thank you for the blood that washes even our sicknesses that cancer in your blood remove in jesus name lord in the blood sickness ratta vyadhigal yesu vi namathnale pogattum i pray even the blood pressure become normal kaiyilotti kekkala all blood pressure 
I command it to come back to normalcy. High pressure, go down. Low pressure, go up. I pray, come to normalcy. Blood levels, sugar levels, glucose levels, come back to normalcy. I pray, excess cholesterol, destroy by fire, melt by fire in Jesus' name. Fatty liver, I pray, restore it to normalcy. Melt every extra fat in the kidneys. Lord, I pray the lungs are breathing normally. I pray the kidneys work in Jesus' name. Prostate work in Jesus' name. Every reproductive organ work in Jesus' name. Mind work in Jesus' name. The heart, Lord, let it go at the right speed. I cancel every irrhythmic speed of the heart. I pray abnormal speed come back. Oxygen levels come back to normalcy. Good breathing, sound sleep. Some of us are stressed. Remove the stress in Jesus' name. The Bible says, be at rest. Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that I am God. He spoke to the Sea of Galilee that troubled the apostles. Jesus said, be still. Lord, let my heart rest. King David said, let my heart, like a weaned child with his mother. Let my heart rest before you. Remove all stress in Jesus' name. I cancel every spirit of the future tomorrow in Jesus' name. I cancel every spirit of distress. Because he lives, we live. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. Let's read the Psalms as you stand for two more minutes. வாசிக்கும்படியாய் தேர்ந்து கொள்ளப்பட்ட சங்கீதம் சங்கீதங்களின் புஸ்தகம் நூற்றி பதினாறாம் அதிகாரம் வசனம் வசனங்கள் ஒன்று முதல் பத்து முடிய சாம் சாப்டர் ஒன் ஒன் சிக்ஸ் வர்சஸ் ஒன் டு டென் பத்தாவது வசனத்தை சேர்ந்து வாசிப்போம் கத்தர் என் சத்தத்தையும் என் விண்ணப்பத்தையும் கேட்டதினால் அவரில் அன்பு கூறுகிறேன் மரணக்கட்டுகள் என்னை சுற்றி கொண்டது பாதாள இடுக்கண்கள் என்னை பிடித்தது இக்கட்டையும் சஞ்சலத்தையும் அடைந்தேன் கத்தர் கிருபையையும் நீதி உள்ளவர் நம்முடைய தேவன் மனமுரு மன உருக்குமானவர் என் ஆத்மாவே கத்தர் உனக்கு நன்மை செய்தபடியால் நீ உன் இழைப்பாறுதலுக்கு திரும்பு நான் கத்தருக்கு முன்பாக ஜீவனுள்ளோர் தேசத்திலே நடப்பேன் சேர்ந்து வாசிப்போம் விசுவாசித்தேன் ஆகியால் பேசுகிறேன் நான் மிகுதியும் வருத்தப்படேன் ஆமீன்
ஆதி பிதா குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமம் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் ஆதி பிதா குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் நீத முதற் பொருளாய் நின்றருள் சருவேசன் நீத முதற் பொருளாய் நின்றருள் சருவேசன் நிதமும் பணிந்தவர்கள் இருதய மலர் வாசன் நிதமும் பணிந்தவர்கள் இருதய மலர் வாசன் நிறைந்த சத்திய ஞான மனோகர உறைந்த நித்திய வேத குணாகர நீடு வாரி திரை சூழ மேதினியை மூடு பாவையிருளோடு அருள் செய் ஆதி பிதா குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் நீரைந்த நாதர் பாரிசுத்தர்கள் என்றென்றைக்கும் பணி பாத துங்க மாமரை பிரபோத கடைசி நாடு சோதனை செய்ய தீனித பங்கில்லான் தவமில்லான் பகரடி மூடி வில்லான் பங்கில்லான் தவமில்லான் பகரடி மூடி வில்லான் பஞ்ஞான சம்பூரணம் பரிசுத்தம் நீதி என்னும் பஞ்ஞான சம்பூரணம் பரிசுத்தம் நீதி என்னும் பண்பதாய் சுயம்பு விவேகன் நண்பிறக்க தயால பிரபாகன் பாதலத்தில் சிருஷ்டிப்பு மீட்பு பரிபாலனத்தையும் அன்பன் நடத்தி அருள் சா நிகசனி பா மகமப்பா சபமக சபமக நிசா நிகசனி பா மகமப்பா சபமக சபமக நிசா கச கச நி சனி 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 த பப்பா பரமக சபமக ச சாகச கச நி சனி 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 த பப்பா பத பத மக சபமக ச சச பாப்பக கணீனி பாப்ப சாச சமக சனி ச ஆதிப்பிதாக்குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் செங்கோல் கை கொண்டு நடத்தினால் நாம் நீ நிலத்தில்லாமல் அழிந்து 
திருநரகில் தள்ளுண்டு மாடிவோம் என்று தேவ திருவூலம் உணர்ந்து பாதகர் கூயிர் தந்த பாலனே சுவை கொண்டு பாதகர் கூயிர் தந்த பாலனே சுவை கொண்டு பரண்யங்கள் மீ செய்தையை வைத்தனர் இது நன்று பரண்யங்கள் மீ செய்தையை வைத்தனர் இது நன்று பகர்ந்த தன்னடியாக்க ஒரு சஞ்சலம் இடைஞ்சல் வந்த போதேவே வாகையில் பாரில் நேரிடும் நானும் தேத முதல் சூரியன் முன் இருள் போல விசிதரும் சா நிகசனி பா மகமபா சபமக சபமக நிசா நிகசனி பா மகமபா சபமக சபமக நிசா கசகச நிசனி சனி சனி தபபா பத பத மக சபமக சா சாகசகச நிசனி சனி சனி தபபா தத பத மக சபமக சா சசச பாபகனீனி பாப சாசமக சனிசா ஆதிப்பிதாக்குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் ஆதிப்பிதா குமாரன் ஆவித்ரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் திரியேகர்க்கு அனவரதமும் ஸ்தோத்ரம் தேங்க்யூ அஸ்லி தட் வாஸ் அமேசிங் வி டி நோ தட் யூ கேன் சிங் சோ வெல் கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் காட் பிளஸ் யூ ஃபார் யூசிங் யூ to sing for god amen we will go break for the sunday school i mean the kids can go for sunday school and thank you judith is here and tenny and guna says sister guna oh yes yeah, sister guna and uh, samson and they'll all be baptized one more heart um manoj god bless you amen I'm going to pray, but in the meantime, we can change the battery. That'd be good. Praise God. Jesus, let's pray. Thank you for giving us another day to be able to do this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us another day to be able to do this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us another day to be able to do this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us another day to be able to do this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us another day to be able to do this. Thank you, Jesus. இந்த காலை வேலை உங்கள் கையில் கொடுக்குறோமா அந்த விடை இந்த மனது இல்லை அப்பா விதைகளை போடுமா அப்பா நல்ல விளைச்சலை கொடும் நூறு மடங்கு ஆயிரம் மடங்கு பல்லாயிரம் மடங்கு விளைச்சலை கொடுக்குற வார்த்தை கொடுமா அப்பா வாழ்க்கை மாற்றும் எங்களுக்காக கொடுத்த ரத்தத்துக்காக நன்றி எங்களுக்கு கொடுக்குற இந்த பவர் ஆஃப் ரெசரக்ஷன் அதற்காக நன்றி சொல்கிறோம் எல்லாம் இயேசுவின் நாமத்தினாலே கேட்குறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஏய் மேன் லெஸ் கி தோட மை டிக்லா ஏய் மேன் காட் இஸ் அ குட் காட் ஏய் மேன் the influence of christ appearance after resurrection christianity would have died long time ago if not for the resurrection there were many people who started movements jesus was one of those who started movements many people died those who started movements that's why paul was against christianity because he said jesus is another person who started some movements and failed in fact jesus built on judaism but then he claimed to be the messiah and a carpenter son claiming to be messiah is an incongruence and he is not able to politically save and so paul was about to terminate the way the way is the first movement of christianity and later on christians in antioch were called christians for the first time 
But Christianity rose to world influence because the once afraid disciples now became the proponents of his own leader. They were afraid of the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin, but after seeing Jesus really alive and well, in fact, Jesus came into the room, he ate with them, and now they were 100% convinced that Jesus is a real person, not just a ghost. And they can touch him and feel him. He has a spiritual body that defies gravity, can go through the doors, a heavenly body, which I think we will also have someday, that is not limited by gravity. Angels can come in one second because they are not affected by gravity. Jacob was sleeping and angels were ascending and descending. Amen. So they have spiritual bodies. So Jesus put on the spiritual body. And St. Paul says that one day our mortality will be consumed. Our mortal body will put on the immortal body, which will not be affected by any sickness. Nothing can affect it. We will not grow old. It will be what God wanted us to be, maybe just like Adam. I mean, in all uh, capacity, and we will live forever with Christ. That's a spiritual body. Something happened after the resurrection. Why did Jesus appear? I mean, and why did he appear for 40 days? And what did he do in those 40 days? So let's go through all of this today. Number one, Christ. Resurrection empowered the women to carry the good news because it is the women that took effort. Disciples were hiding, but there were certain women. So actually, when resurrection happened, God was empowering women as evangelists to carry the good news. Luke 23 55. The women also which came from Galilee followed after they beheld and they saw how the body was laid. What happened to all the apostles? What happened to Peter? What happened to James? Because the prophecy is that Jesus said the sheep shall be scattered. And to fulfill that prophecy, all the disciples were scattered. And the women were watching exactly where and how the body was laid. And they did some homework. You know, in order to be used by God, we have to do some homework. Amen. We should know where the scriptures are. We should know where the word is, how the word is organized. Amen. How God put the whole universe together. We should know what will happen at the end. Because in order for evangelists to be used, we should know exactly where things are. So these women were, you know, monitoring. They were doing some homework and they were preparing for the visit. For example, Jesus dies on a Friday. Sabbath is on Saturday. So they cannot work on Saturday because of the law of Moses. So on Friday night, they are preparing spices, all the things to anoint or preserve the dead body. They were hoping that they can go and put some more spices. Luke 23 verse 56, they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandments. So these women were special women. We will go through some of their names. They were special women. They were doing homework, preparing spices and ointments. Sunday, if you have to come to church, you got to prepare on Friday. Amen. That's how much they prepared. Not get, just get up on Sunday and say, which dress should I wear? Let me go through this one, two, three. By the time 15 minutes is gone, you know, because you're going through the wardrobe, you know, like Narnia's story, and then figure out which one is white. Amen. But your preparation starts Friday. These women were very diligent women. Amen. There were ointments and spices, and they don't want to break the commandment. So they were obedient to the law of Moses. You know, sometimes to, to do a lot for Jesus, we may break some commandments. We break speed limits. 
on the road because i want to go to church fast so you're actually breaking the law to please god where god's word says obey the law of the land obey the king honor the king pay, pay the taxes keep the rules you know we have to we should not be arrested or uh, for stealing uh, nor be paying money to the police so we should actually literally not break commandments of the land so to do a lot for jesus sometimes we tax tax money tax money and put it in the church no that's not right sometimes we take this uh, what we should give to our parents and then we take that money that's called corbin they the pharisees say, said okay you know why should i give to my parents instead of giving money to parents i will take them and give to church and jesus rebuked them because bible says honor your parents you know you have to give something to them every month and don't just say i've done all my duty now i just you know only focus on the kingdom i won't send anything for them because jesus said leave your father and mother but then no jesus did not leave from the cross jesus said mom john will take care of you he didn't just leave them like that Amen so we should not break commandments we want to be evangelists but don't break commandments you need to be rested you need to be prepared you need to know where the places are to go and on the first day of the week luke 24 verse 1 early in the morning you know adigalu elundi nam kartare theda vendum so these women were actually getting up early in the morning to go to the burial place to the sepulcher they came with spices highly prepared which they prepared and certain others with them are we men and women of preparation even god told moses come early in the day i will give you the 10 tablets or i mean two tablets with 10 commandments is that you got to come early don't bring anybody and everybody there the mountains were shaking and there was earthquakes and lightnings and thunder but you got to come early to the top and i will write and jesus mark 135 got up every day early in the morning went to the wilderness and prayed so it has been a characteristic of godly men to get up early night all office in vela seivom kaalaiyil endu job madrukka time irukadu because we have only limited time and that's why i say if you work too too much and pay get the same pay you are like the israelites in egypt they were working too much getting maybe the same pay same or less so we don't want that egyptian spirit to come into our family i know that sometimes you know few times or extraordinary times you may be asked to do something but that but that should not be a pattern to please people and say i'll do free work for you in a capitalistic country free work is illegal if somebody says free work and doesn't pay it may be it may be counted as abuse of labor force but in indian culture is different <laughs> i mean so let's be you know wise how we use our time and our effort so get up early in the day to be an evangelist because if they did not go early they might have missed the visitation of jesus they did not come empty sometimes when we come to god we may come empty but they came with spices and ointments and they were not rich women they were actually women healed in the ministry of jesus and they came with something we should not come empty handed hallelujah they entered was 3 and found not the body of the lord and they were perplexed and god rewarded their diligence you know at the alam tedumul the god can give us answers in fact more revelations can be downloaded early in the day early in the morning than later in the day in the evening nam tired avukarumbol no no revelation is coming heaven seems to be a brazen wall it's like a dry dry sky and if we are not able to download and access revelations from god but as we sit fresh early in the day revelation shall start coming flowing because your mind is fresh 
and you are giving the best to God the first part of the day hallelujah amen so god answered the prayer verse six the angel said he is not here he is risen remember how he spoke to you how jesus said the son of man verse seven must be crucified delivered in hands and be crucified and third day and rise again so these women were with going with jesus every day we got to walk with jesus and the angel said, remember the time that Jesus said. These women actually remembered the words, but the disciples forgot the words. You know, there's a scripture in John 20 verse 8. Peter and John went and saw the tomb. They came to the sepulcher. They saw and believed. Verse 9, for as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. The Bible says these women remembered it, but... Peter and John, they did not remember the scripture. So these women, something special about, they remembered the scriptures. And who are these women? One of them, Luke 8 verse 1, it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city preaching and showing the glad tidings. And certain women, Luke 8 verse 2, it says certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary Magdalene, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom seven devils came out. Luke 8 verse 2. The first appearance of Jesus is to Mary Magdalene. And she had spiritual problems. She was healed of evil spirits. And these were actually the women who also sustained the ministry of Jesus. Verse 3 says, Joanna, the wife of Susa, and Susanna, many others which ministered to him out of their substance. Which means the entire ministry of Jesus was supported by women. And the chief supporter was Mary Magdalene. And God remembered it. And said, when I appear, I will appear first to Mary Magdalene. Amen. What an awesome God. Ministry, Jesus did not borrow money. But Jesus did not. If you follow the model of Jesus, the, the entire ministry was supported by the givings, generous givings. He never borrowed money. According to the law of Moses and Deuteronomy, you know, thou shall not borrow. So Jesus practiced. He said, don't take two chapels. Don't take purse, just go and preach the gospel. That's why the Franciscans in the Catholic tradition, you can see that they will just go with one staff. They will stay where they are given room. They won't even wear slippers. They might put one chapels, but they just go with one dress. They're called Franciscans. And God supernaturally provides for them. They preach the gospel exactly following what said, don't take anything extra and if you somebody opens a house you stay there eat what they give you and stay as long as they allow you you preach and heal the sick and exactly what Jesus did and these women were the great supporters amen and there's so much to learn from them that God made them the first carrier of good news the greatest news in history is not even healing the blind is not even is not even the multiplication of water or turning water into wine. That is not the greatest news. Because if Jesus turned water into wine and died. Christianity would have been dead. The greatest news. The good news. Is the resurrection of Jesus. And that great news was given to Mary Magdalene. The greatest news to. And they said they ran with that good news. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, but now we are going to talk about it. But we are going to talk about We got the best, but we won't tell it. You know, like those four beggars, you know, the um, leprous men, they were 
அவுட் சைட் த சிட்டி இங்கே இருந்தாலும் சாக போகிறோம் உள்ளே போனாலும் சாக போகிறோம் லெட்ஸ் கோ டு த எனிமி ஸ்கேம் தே வென்ட் தே ஃபவுண்ட் கோல்டு அண்ட் சில்வர் அண்ட் தென் தே செட் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் டெல் திஸ் குட் நியூஸ் சம் ஹாவ் வி வில் வி வில் பி ஃபவுண்ட் அவுட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் டெல் இந்த குட் நியூஸ் அவர்கள் என்ன செஞ்சாங்கன்னா லெட் மீ ஸ்டோர் சம்திங் லெட் மீ ஸ்டோர் சம் சம்டைம் சம்டைம் தட்ஸ் வாட் வி டூ ஏசுவை பற்றி ஏற்றுக்கொண்ட பிற்பாடு லெட் லெட் மீ ஜஸ்ட் செட்டில் டவுன் லெட் மீ கெட் அ ஜாப் Let me get married. Let me buy a car. Then I'll tell the good news. But these women were saying they ran with the good news. I mean, to be an evangelist, you don't need money. Because we are not giving money. The church is not the primary... Um, the mission of the church is not to give money. Not even feeding food. It is the job of the government to feed. Because the government is corrupt, like countries like India and Pakistan, they don't feed. The church is stepping up. But it's not our responsibility to make sure that every citizen is fed with breakfast and lunch. The government has to come up with schemes, irrigation schemes, agriculture schemes, to make sure that everybody has food. And India has done a great job of you know, producing food. so it is not our job the greatest mission of the church is to share jesus that is number one because in the breakfast caskot class we tell yesterday you can give money for breakfast but who will give for lunch and who will give for next day's breakfast but if we give the gospel and then laziness goes out of that man he will immediately find a job some revelation hits him he finds a little jar that can feed him every day amen so namu vandu uli seyumbolude vaarthai kodukono sometimes i'm against i'm not so support your pastors because the pastors they they call and say pastor give me some money i am feeding 200 people is good but I, have you preached the good news you feed 200 people and then they will be depend on you and you can't feed them tomorrow but have you told them the real truth because the real truth will take them out of poverty amen avargal vandu yesuvai unmaila yetrukondu varpadu avarudeya soolnaligal kandippaga maarum you know the the greatest mission of the church jesus said go to the ends of the earth and preach the gospel he did not say go to the ends of the earth and feed the people although feeding is secondary that's what i mean it is secondary to the great commission i mean the great commission is preach the gospel like um the pastor in south korea paul young he cho initially he was in a tent and then he prayed for a desk prayed for a chair and then all the people were coming to him were poor people and then god the holy spirit told him you know you, you preach you know he said i preached everything nothing is changing then one day he said i won't preach like conventional preacher let me preach the full gospel he said healing is in the bible amen prosperity is in the bible salvation is in the bible i'm going to preach the full gospel and as he preached the full gospel miracles happen healings also happen but also people started prospering in that hard country south korea and god told him build hospitals he said i don't know how to build i am not a doctor and then god told him your wife is a med- you know she has expertise in medicine and why don't she be the dean of that medical institute start a medical institute then start a carpentry start this mechanical institute so people can learn me- learn some jobs and use their jobs to make income and so many people went through the trade school then start the bible college and so spiritual feeding and then you know yesterday as i was meditating this week the the jobs are there but we need to make people employable meaning if we can get them employable i mean to make even 10 dollars we have done a great work then just just feeding if they become employable for example somebody may not just teaching and if they make 10 dollars an hour that is employability 
Amen. They become, they become, they are able to be employed. The homeless person is, you know, I saw in Hosi Lane, one morning I put tracks, got mulled over, thrown there, and the shop man had a counter cry. He was wearing jeans, torn jeans, but he is reading newspapers. But if he is sweeping just that corridor in that shopping complex, if he keeps on sweeping and says, "Just give me five, six dollars," you know, I'm just fine. If he does that, then you know, just compute sixty, eighty dollars per day. He doesn't need to be homeless there. just sweeping the shopping complex the shopping complex guy will pay yeah vita kuda kutrathukku nam vandu nobody is doing for 8 dollars an hour they are charging 300 dollars that's why i have to do by myself sometimes because if i call someone per day they are charging 300 dollars but if there's someone who can do for 8 i will employ and that person will make 80 dollars a day there is no need for homelessness i mean if the person is lazy he'll be homeless but if he can just sweep i mean just clean the toilet in america they can make easily 80 spend 30 dollars food 50 dollars in pocket hallelujah we need to give them this the the gospel that liberates them from that laziness and excuses confused not knowing what to do and when we give them the gospel the gospel will take them out israel makkal ange okkantirundanga romba nalla okkantirukanga 400 varsham okkantanga far one nee kudukra saapade podum appdinu okkantanga andu sollarne time is up you got to come out and after even coming out they say oh that garlic oh that cucumber that was more tasty than mine no 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 i'm taking you through a process i'm taking you to another new country be patient but they were rebellious but when we give the true gospel when the gospel is a sweeter than honey the word of god is sweeter than honey what is tasty in this world i mean honey is the most sweet but gospel is sweeter than honey and eat it as we eat honey and the honeycomb amen or ten kootai saapidudhu pole nam karthudi vasanathai saapida vendum what a drunkard needs is not another you know cons- uh, consolation drug another cup of alcohol what he needs is a rebuking and uh, reformatory living powerful double edged sword which is called the word of god and this is what the women are carrying they are carrying the good news they won't keep the good news john 20 verse 2 then she runneth and come to simon peter and to the other disciple whom jesus loved said to them they have taken out the lord and we know not where they have laid him so they always ran and when they heard the good news they also ran the disciples still doubted John 20 verse 17 Jesus said to Mary touch me not I am going to my father and your father and Mary Magdalene verse 18 came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord what an what a privilege amen undu nam karthirkendru kodukka vendum and out of what gives you know we should give to God God will make you an evangelist amen these women were giving substance they were helping jesus and god will make you he will give you revelations you know sometimes we may know the whole bible but we may not be able to speak ellam theriyum na bible ellam theriyana avaru vandu vaaye therakkamattar you know traditionally they have been taught to you know attend mass or you know go to you know church but they will never speak the word of god is more than knowledge evangelism is more than knowledge it is the spirit of god taking that living water out of me shall flow rivers of living water so the pair vai tharna pesite irpanga ena because there's rivers of living water you can see street preachers in in america also in campuses in canada and dog uh, pastor lin is one of them they'll open their mouth and they will continue to speak and i pray that you know 
the out of my belly jesus said shall flow rivers amen number 2 christ appeared to clear doubts john 20 was 19 the same day evening first day of the week those were shut and came to the apostles and he said to them was 21 peace to you and he breathed on them and they received men can do hard work now women can carry good news but men can do hard work so in order to clear all the doubts jesus comes and says i need these men i mean there are places where women cannot go the areas in the world today uh, where women can be just taken and hijacked abused there are countries where um, women are um, subjugated so you cannot carry to hard places and for some reason jesus had to select 12 men i mean men can handle hard things lift heavy weights which women can't amen and so this man even though avargal konja bayama irundha kuda he said i'm going to clear your doubts amen when men have things clear they will go very far thomas said i want to touch and feel you jesus i can't believe it you know you may be a ghost who knows <laughs> he said unless i touch your finger your side i won't i think i i just can't believe this even these 11 people who or the 10 uh, who were there because judas is gone and thomas was not there most likely 10 they say we saw jesus but thomas said no i want to really make sure he is who he is and after jesus told me yeah, he kept appeared again touch me and feel me this is the palm this is the place where i was peers do not be unbelieving but believing upward the thomas told her my lord my god and then he went to the farthest place from the middle east to chennai to the southern part of india how did he go no ships or i mean i don't know if there was bigger ships probably he found some ship definitely no airplanes irundalam he went to the farthest place missionaries like uh, to china men go to tribal areas where instantly they will kill hudson taylor you know where the, as soon as a tribe see men they will shoot or they will send an arrow instantly kill men can go very far and that's why god picked men i always ask myself god why you said there is a feministic movement they want equal rights these women are crazy nowadays angle kudukra salary engalukku kodukkonu illati you know you are not treating us equally i am different color so maybe i am not treated i am a different race maybe they are showing racialism you know these women we we need everything equal and they become the part of this feministic movement then i asked myself lord why the answer is that men are called to be leaders and they can handle hard stuff they can be hard missionaries amen and god strengthen these 12 or these 11 men and made sure that their doubts are cleared they need clarity for us to act men cannot move until something is clear ninga enna vela kodutalum husband okante irpar ninga clear ah sonnu generally idu pannunga idu pannunga sollama clear ah sonna da move they will move otherwise they will sit there and then you will you will get angry ye inge okante ringa appo da sonna illa enna sonna did you tell me exactly so kadai poi da vaangi thavanga sonna ka you have to give a list you know if you don't give a list just just buy he won't buy anything or you will buy what you need but you'll miss lot of things we need detail list 1 2 3 up to 10 abdi etra mara sonnal me sila per they will never put the list the women always use a inbuilt ram i know what to buy you don't need to tell me i know what to buy but men are not like that they got to see what i have to do now if we need flowers you need to tell me that's what men are saying now they don't know what to do you need flowers then which flower do you want because sometimes they don't know how to shop also 
They don't know how to buy dress. I can actually go and pick dress blindly. So, but if things are very clear, they'll go fast. In fact, clarity improves speed. If you know what to do in life, you'll go fast. Amen? So we need to ask God, Lord, show me clarity. When Thomas saw that Jesus was a clear, you know, a distinguishable, touchable, tangible body and spirit, a person who is a real resurrected one, he said, I will go wherever you want me to go. When men are clear, they will go the farthest. And clarity brings speed and acceleration. Hallelujah. When you know the target, you go very fast. When David saw Goliath, he said, I see only one spot. Because his chest was covered, leg was covered, you know, arm bearer and arms were covered and helmet was covered. But he saw only one spot, the forehead. And he saw that exact spot. He said, I have one small stone. I know exactly where to hit. And he charged before David. When men are given clear goals, they'll do great things. And God told them, go to the ends and preach my gospel. And Peter will become a mighty apostle. Hallelujah. Number three, when Jesus appeared, he clarified priorities. John 21 verse 3 says, Peter said, let me go fishing. They did not really catch the full vision. And they said after Jesus, you know, rose, yes, they saw once and then they're still not, you know, their priorities were not right. They forgot that Jesus said, you'll become fishers of men. There is no, there is no uh, notepad. Uh, they didn't take all these, um, you know, Detailed, and then the Holy Spirit has to rem remind them to write scriptures. So he said, Let me go fishing. Mean pretty put it on in your valley. Now, Pale Madri, mean a pretty pain. I've been to our point, you know, Valley a portrait, Pale Maria, tripander. You know, we sometimes walk with Jesus for three years, but do the exactly the same thing we did as if we never walked with Jesus. Jesus will give new instructions. Hallelujah. Amen. And we should ask God for new instructions. When Jesus came, you know, he said, the morning came, verse 4, Jesus stood on the shore and the disciples knew not it was Jesus. And Jesus said to them, children, verse 5, do you have any meat? And he said to them, cast on the right side. God can give direction. Verse 6 says, Jesus says, cast it on the right side. Mean I pretty but if you don't get meat, you don't get fish all night because we are doing the wrong way. But I am praying that when Jesus comes, he will show the right way. Amen. The right company. You know, sometimes you get into the wrong company. Night to four, they won't appreciate. They'll take advantage. But there are other sweet spots in a company. I mean, sweet spots means a nice spot where you do just a little, just the sufficient work, get more recognition, and you're also growing and learning, and you are able to balance life when work. And yesterday, a brother was saying, I'm working 14 hours, 16 hours. And he misses breakfast, misses lunch. Soon the body will, you know, won't support such feeding system. Because they are, the management is asking. The management will keep asking, but you need to eat, brother. You need to eat, have good breakfast. You need to spend at least five minutes at the dining table. You know, it doesn't take a lot of time to eat. You know, ten minutes you can have very good breakfast. 10-15 minutes. At the end of the day, it's a washout. We might lose health and we may not you know, gain the wealth. And it's not worth it. And we should ask God, Lord, help me to put the net in the right place. 
and every day ask god what is the right project that i need to focus on there are some things that you can focus what is critical to the company is not quantity it's quality amen the quality of our work who oh, i work 14 hours a day but that's just quantity how much of it is actually high quality amen if you do for even 3 hours if it's a high quality heavily critical for the running of the systems they value as more than 14 hours of just quantity quantifiable work or just filling those hours with something they say that work extends to the time it is allocated which means if somebody gives 20 hours somehow will drag this work for 20 hours that's human psychology <laughs> i mean somehow the work extends to the amount of time it is allocated our uh, you know natural thing is okay if they gave 20 hours let me just do for 20 hours but it may be just 2 hours work If somebody says do it in 2 hours we'll be get a little more motivated you know, uh, you know this is good for you you know you, you I'll give you 5 hours break then the employee will do okay I'm getting 5 hours you know to study something on my own let me finish this so there are high quality work critical work that has great value to the company which you should put your effort on and the management always values our they call it a critical resource amen and they will pay you higher and when jesus gives you ideas he said put it on the right side now he is seeing a heavy load 153 and then verse seven he jumped into the water and started without even putting his whole dress a fisherman's dress he come to jesus peter's instinct reciprocation epolume vegamaga soluvar seivar amen so we should move fast when ji when you see jesus just move fast when jesus says do just do we can argue with anybody in the world but we we should not argue with jesus amen just do it if jesus says pray you pray leave everything you leave everything come just as you are jesus says be baptized you get baptized i don't argue too much jesus said it let me do it amen oh your parents are coming and everybody is saying you already got baptized when you were 2 2 days old 5 days old but then when you go and pray no that's not how the new testament is amen so you as soon as god tells you something do when jesus says don't borrow stop borrowing in america makes us all borrowers alkinte nama pillegile you also borrow nu solla kudadhu you know we somehow borrowed we going to tell our kids hey there is a way you can live without borrowing there's a there's definitely a way to live without even this mortgage loans there's definitely a way we got to push our kids in that direction not to depend on this bank loans who extract the maximum interest and leave a broken house after 30 years and that's a reality but some of they think they're doing a great favor and we also subscribe to that ideology So when Jesus says don't borrow we will stop borrowing hallelujah number 4 Jesus appeared to rebuild broken hearts Peter must have been the most saddest person yes when an arrival in the solugran he denied Christ three times his heart was broken mattinga kuda paravalla they didn't say anything bad about Jesus they just ran by in the ordinary and our pedro and i don't know jesus i did just all right never heard his name and jesus could have come and rebuked peter but god did not rebuke peter so le per nama thavar senjitumna na poi avan epdiyad pali vaangana enga irundhal ana poi rendu potu podu na abindi dallas lende india varaikum poi india poi ana kandupidikana because he cheated me 
அந்த தாத்தா எப்படி அப்படி பேசலாம்னா இல்லா இருக்கும் போது ஒரு மாதிரி பேசுகிறாரு போன பிற்பாடு வேறு மாதிரி பேசுகிறார் இனிமேல் ஒரு ரூபா கூட கொடுக்க மாட்டேங்கிறார் வி ஷுட் நாட் கிவ் டு தஸ் ஃபெல் ஐ கேவ் இம் மேன் இஸ் ஸ்டில் ஹீஸ் பட் ஸ்டில் ஜீசஸ் மை செக் கிவ் ஐ மீன் லவ் யர் எனிமீஸ் வாங்கிட்டு திருப்பி நல்லா சாப்பிட்டுட்டு நீ நீ என்ன அதுக்கு பண்ணியிருக்கே அப்படின்னு கேட்பாங்க இது வரைக்கும் என்ன நீ பெருசாக பண்ணியிருக்க சும்மா ஒரு வீடு தான் கொடுத்துருக்க வீடு கொடுத்து பார்த்தாதா ஐ மீன் யூ கிவ்ஸ் நம் ஸோ மச் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி ஆல்ரெடி நீ என்ன ஒரு பழைய வீடு கொடுத்துட்டு அமெரிக்காவில் உட்காந்துட்டு ஏதோ பெரிய நிறைய கொடுத்த மாதிரி பேசிட்டே இருக்கேன் இன்னும் ஒரு நாலு லட்சம் அனுப்பிச்சுடு அப்படின்னு sometimes they take it for granted i mean they don't really appreciate they should be grateful for even small things i mean and only a child of god can you know <coughs> solomon said riches are not forever not as a crown endure for generations they should not think that money will keep on coming they should be grateful for every small thing and even for us we should not think money will keep on coming we should work every day that's what solomon is saying riches are not forever nor does a crown endure for generations god sent us to work i mean every day 6 days a week america says 5 days actually moses said 6 days and sabbath is rest namba onnu ipdi idu panu onnu anju naal work panuvom illati yelu naal work panuvom i mean 5 or 7 but moses said six days and complete rest on sabbath day your whole system should rest hallelujah jesus now comes rebuilds peter john 21 verse 17 simon son of jonah do you love me peter was grieved lord third time jesus asked you are asking me and he said to him lord you know everything i love you and jesus said verily verily i said to you when you were young somebody put the dress when you are old somebody will stretch your hands and so god is actually rebuilding peter peter will be the rock or pillar in jerusalem church peter will go to rome he'll be crucified upside down and that's why jesus said somebody will stretch your hand and he rebuilds peter as christians if you when you really become mature namanda mattukale keela erakave maatam thappu panirnda kuda we will start lifting i mean namba sonna anandambi kuda and they will make mistakes but since you are a child of god forgive i mean namma thittinda kuda you forgive because you don't support them sometimes they'll speak against you but still forgive அந்த காதில் கேட்காத மாதிரி நம்ம வந்து இன்னும் ஜஸ்ட் ஸ்பீக் லாவ் ப்ரீச் த காஸ்போல் அண்ட் கம் பேக் ஐ மீன் தே வில் பி மூவ் பை யுவர் லவ் இன் ஐ ஃபார் அ நைட் டூத் ஃபார் அ டூத் இஸ் ஓல்ட் டெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஐ மீன் பட் லவ் அன்கண்டிஷ்னலி இஸ் நியூ டெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் செவன்டி டைம்ஸ் செவன் மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் பர்ஃபெக்ட் நம்பர் ஓ இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் எ ஆல்மோஸ்ட் இன்ஃபினிட்டி ஸோ கீப் ஆன் Jesus said for giving I mean that is a mature christian there are christians different levels I mean different levels so per enna da pannalum kovam varadu you know he is at a different level our normal da is a normal man but he is at a different level so per didin vanga didin angalukku vera mari vandrom so they are at different level you should not get upset because everybody is you know growing amen and sometimes solomon said niye mathengala patti thappa pesirke so just leave what they say yara thappa pesna don't think too much about it because you yourself when nobody was monitoring when you are alone you yourself talked bad, bad about other people so just discard hallelujah so we should not give too much importance to what other people but love so jesus came and totally forgot about his denials 
தட்ஸ் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் திங் அபவுட் ஜீஸ் வந்து கேட்டிருக்கலாம் பேதுரு எத்தனை முறை உனக்கு நான் சாப்பாடு கொடுத்துருப்பேன் நீ மீன் எத்தனை மீன் கொடுத்த உனக்கு எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்டுட்டு ஒன்றுமே தெரில ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஜீசஸ் உனக்கு போடுற பாரு ஒரு அட்டி இன்னைக்கு ரிசரெக்ட் ஆனவனே ஃபஸ்ட்டு பேதுருட்ட வந்து ஆனவர் கேட்டிருக்கலாம் திருட்டு பையன் கூடையே வந்துட்டு மலை மேலே வேறு வந்துட்டு மூன்று கூடாரங்க போடுன்னு என்ன என்ன வேறு சொல்லிட்டு நேருக்கு நேராக மோசே எலேஜெல்லாம் பார்த்துட்டு வானத்திலிருந்து வச வருகிற வசனத்தையும் கேட்ட பிற்பாடு ஒன்றுமே தெரியாதுன்ட்டு அண்ணா குளிர் காஞ்சிட்டு உக்காண்டிருந்தேன் நான் ஜெபிக்கு சொன்னால் நீ குளிர் காஞ்சிட்டு உக்காண்டிருந்தேன் எல்லாம் தூங்கிட்டு குளிர் காஞ்சிட்டு உனைய வந்து உனக்கு வந்து கீஸு கூட நான் எடுத்துடுறேன் முதல்ல கீ கொடுக்குன்னு சொன்னல குடு அந்த கீயே அடுத்தது நம்ம ஜேம்ஸ் கொடுத்தடலாம் ஜான் கொடுத்தடலாம் உனக்கு போய் கீ கொடுத்து அந்த கதையே அவர் எடுத்து ஜீசஸ் டி நாட் பிக் தட்ஸ் ஓல்டு இன்சிடென்ட் மறுதளிப்பதையோ டினாயில் இட் நாட் ஈவன் மென்ஷன் இட் இ சே டி யூ லவ் மீ பீட்டா ஐ மீன் டஸ் நாட் ரிமெம்பர் அவர் ஃபால்ஸ் இஸ் காட் His mercy endureth. His compassions fail not. His mercies are new every morning. He forgets. He sees us like little children. And he builds Peter. God always would love to build us up. He wants to build our marriage, build our children, <coughs> build our heart, become meat-eating Christians. He rebuilt confidence. And what did Jesus do? 40 days. He appeared 40 days to preach the kingdom of God. Clear all doubts. Acts 1 verse 3. To them he showed himself alive by after his passion by many infallible proofs seeing by them 40 days speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus was talking and talking and talking. He was clearing all doubts, building these apostles. I mean, 40 days of rebuilding their confidence. Because the, the, the work they are going to do is enormously huge. In a cultic society, in a society filled with idolatry, or even with the man-made religions, to bring this new messianic religion, news to build this church the hell will break loose gates of hell will come against you to build them he spends 40 days and then he said you still can't do it until you receive the holy spirit so and then next 10 days they're all praying and praying and praying on the 50th day jesus said i will pour out my spirit on you ide petrukonda pirpadu da they become mighty apostles and peter the same peter he says second peter 116 we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to the power and the coming of the lord jesus christ but we were eye witnesses he said i am a eye witness for jesus amen nanga paathadhum tottadhum anubuthidhum da nanga pesikondirukrom john was saying that which we touched and handled and felt this is what we preach we're not saying stories for them to refute and stand and preach jesus it needs 40 days of building and jesus appeared to more than 500 first corinthians 15 verse 3 was for after he was buried he rose on the third day according to scripture seen by peter seen by the 12 and then 500 men were six he was seen of 500 men at once and he, then he was seen by james and finally verse 8 says he was also seen by me the last but not the least apostle paul hallelujah amen and paul will become the mighty apostle the chief apostle god appeared to him and said i will use you to to europe asia Mediterranean before kings before Caesar he talked to him face to face and that's why Paul says 
at last he appeared to me also. Amen. And Christ appeared, truly appeared. And he is really alive. And he will come again. Amen. And God is building us. And let this, God will change, change us completely. He will rebuild us. He will make us evangelists. Are we willing to give time? Are we willing to give priority? I mean, are we willing to give substance? Let's all stand. We'll pray. Hallelujah. Fill me. The weird tell in the yes in Vallamilal Nerapu Mapa. Breathe into me. Weird tell in the Vallamai. You will go far. Lord, I want to go far. Take me to nations. As the psalmist said in 2 verse 8, ask nations for inheritance. To preach the good news first. The kingdom of God is righteousness, joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. And help us to preach as Jesus taught them the kingdom of God. And the Avi Wutrum Appa, Engel Payanum, Engel Pelegil Melum Wutrum Katrake Klandari, and the Avi Wutrum Pudia Manishna Gangle Matrum, transform me from Saul to Paul, Kailuthi Kekla, and the very Pudia Manisha Gangle Matrum Appa. When the Spirit came, Peter lifted up his voice and said, This is Christ we preach. We were eyewitnesses. We saw him on the mountain, Mount of Olives. We saw him talking to the Father. John said, I touched him. I felt him. I was closest to him in the Last Supper. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, make us eyewitnesses. Lord, make us proponents. Make us ambassadors. Make me an evangelist like Mary Magdalene. She came searching for the body, to anoint the bodies with her substance and spices and ointment. And God appeared to her and made her a carrier of the good news. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And Abishyaga Thal Narapam Kaili Thetti Padalam Aviye Anupunle In Jesus' name. Resurrect me, O God. Every tribe in the Revive me, Resurrect me, O God. Every bondage, the spirit of Pharaoh. Oh my God, then I'm the Lord in the Lord of the Oh my God, then I'm the Lord in the Lord of the Lord. Resurrect me, yes, we are the Yahweh. Well, let me find
Send us, O oh God, to the farthest place, to the nearest place, to nations. We will be able to do all of this. We will be able to do all of this. We will be able to do all of this. We will be able to do all of this. We will be able to do all of this. We will be able to do all of this. Let's give the Lord a mighty clap. Thank you for coming. Happy Resurrection.